Rolling with Nat 20. I'm Nat 20. We're back with more of Illusion of Gaia. It's time for us to finish the Great Wall. I do not remember what sort of boss we will face. And what sort of foe lies ahead. But we will find and help Lance. And probably get a Mystic Statue. I have to mention it. Right. They put that down there because I cannot be freed. They're like, you gotta be Will. That's okay, though. Will has learned a lot in his journey. And despite how much more I wanted to be freed in, in the beginning dungeons, now that Will has some abilities under his belt, doesn't suck so much. He, he's alright. He's comparable now. It's kind of cool that throughout his journey, he's become stronger and it's more desirable to play him. Whereas, like, in the initial prison, it was just like, Oh man, I'm Will, the scared little kid with a flute. Or I could be Frieden, the Dark Knight that's going to save him. Whoosh. Bosses. Can hop down that. Looks like that's the only thing I can do. Geronimo! What's this? like an antlion or something. Ah. Kicks. Kicks. All right, you know how what what I feel? Who wants some? Who wants some? Ah. Face me like a man. I missed. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Ah. Poke, poke, poke. Ah. Where are you gonna go? Man. He's not doing too much damage, he's just kind of being annoying. Whoa. That guy's a pain in the butt. <clears throat> Alright. Well, I'm not really getting too much extra damage out of that, so maybe I just need to go for pokes. Maybe. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, I got him. Got him once. The key is just watch where that's gonna pop up. I'm coming for that face! He's not particularly hard, he's just quite annoying. These guys are annoying too. Yeesh. You know what, I will use an herb because I'm doing pretty well. And this is uh, annoying. I don't want to have to redo it. Ow. Come up from Arcadia. Kill those. Get you. There's very little health left in you. 
Two more hits and you're done. Ow! Two more hits and I'm done. Ah. You done! You've defeated the Sandfanger. Look, a mystic statue. <laughs> just kind of funny that they just throw them at you like that. <laughs> we did it. I did it. Will did it. With no help from Frieden. Okay. Well, now there's more Great Wall available, and conveniently, Lance should be over here somewhere, right? Hey, there you are. You're crazy. I've been worried sick. What if you'd been attacked? Sorry to worry you, but I got some medicine to cure my father. Already? You're selfish. Oh, that stone. If you follow the stone chips, the trail leads here. I'll give them back to you. Lance whispers. Will? Will you take care of Lily for me? Will whispers, no. I'm out. You guys have a moment or something. But I will save thanks to these stones. This was the necklace I made for you. There aren't many necklace stones left. Will you take them? Lance fixing the necklace, puts it around her neck. <sighs> No, super runaway. Uh, I won't run this time. This happened so suddenly. I didn't know what to do. I don't want to show my face now. I'm crying from happiness. I've always felt there was something different about you. Now I feel I know what the difference is. I want to give you an answer. Oof. I love you too. I want to be with you forever. Wow, I've never felt this way before. It's like a million summer days. I feel the same way. Let's go back to the village. I'm sure everyone's worried. This oddly worked out because I got a mystic statue, so, alright. Kind of weird how it worked out like that, but, alright. A crook is an odd animal. There's going to be a full moon tonight. The village seems different. I hope Lance's father recovers quickly. I made my father very happy before. I think he'll make a slow recovery. If you go out of here, there's a huge desert to the west. You can't cross it without crux. How will I get a croc? It will slowly recover. How will I get a croc? Hmm. All right, all right, here it is. Here's the moonlit and 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 all, all the stuff that kid told me about is going to come come to a head. I saw him over there. I seen him. Come here. 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 Come here, Lily. Come here. Go. Go go. Go go go. Go 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 go. Go 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 go. Go. I'm going to run. The Russian Glass Club. Do you wish to join? Uh, yes. Do you want to risk your young life playing Russian Glass? This isn't just a game. You could lose your life. Are you sure? Yes. All right, the opponent is over there. He's a seasoned veteran. I've never seen a man so lucky. Well, ask him the rules. Shoot! I forgot my lucky crook's foot. The rules are simple. One of the five glasses contains poison. Drink each one in turn. The one left alive is the winner. We'll start with me. Banzai! The opponent drank up the glass in one gulp. Hmm. Will closed his eyes and drank it in one gulp. Your turn. Banzai! Drink one gulp. What? The glass looks very suspicious. Do I have the courage to put this in my body? No. I'm quitting. I'm drinking that one. 
I have psychic abilities, and I can tell which one has the poison. There's only one glass left. That's enough. This young man won. You need not drink to the poison. Right? Quit now. Oh, no. I'm the champion. I will not be disgraced. He picks up the glass. And drinks it! <laughs> Stop, you've already lost. Stop. Ignoring the spectator, he downs the drink in a shot. You're the Russian glass player. My husband said that once he found a job, he would be okay, but I was surprised at what he did. This is my husband's will. It says here, to my opponent, please read it. He's, he was the father of the baby, and he had a cold. Uh. There are four crux outside, please use them. We don't need money. Real joy is being with those you love. Yup, mm -hmm. the one you love just drank himself to death because he lost a game to a child. I have the crux now. Well, I didn't expect it to go exactly like that, but, uh, I guess that's how it's gonna go. Hey guys, I got the crux. You got crux? But they're so expensive. Why such a sad face? Maybe I shouldn't ask what the reason is. I think we should go west, to Euro. Lance and Lily want to stay here. You should ask them why. I've decided to stay in this town, too. Ask Lance the reason why. But I'm sorry, but I want to stay here. I can't neglect my father, and so... I feel a little awkward. I wanted to spend time with Willie. Of course, I don't feel good about it. I wanted to go with everyone, and I wanted to stay with Lily. I've enjoyed the journey. I hope you're successful. Yeah, I wish Lance and Lily were coming too. Neil's family runs a trading company in Euro. All right. More plot convenience for us. Well, we got crooks. We got destinations. Let's get to moving. Great Wall and Angel Village, though neither of those are Euro. Do I have to leave by talking to these guys? I did let everyone know. Do I leave by talking to you somehow? No. Oh, you know what? <laughs> I ain't even looked at uh, Lance's father since we tried to fix him. Hello, sir. Alright, well, that was fruitful. <laughs> Alright, guys, I got the crooks. I killed a man for it. Yes, yes. I've decided to stay in this town, too. Ask Lance the reason why I did. Yes, 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 yes. They're not coming. There's an extension coming in Euro. The moment when a man and woman are first attracted to each other is like magic. I don't think you're ever going to forget that feeling. By the way, Euro's where my parents live. It will help you if we go there. We're leaving for Euro. Hooray! Hooray, hooray. Hooray, hooray, hooray. Hop on our fake kangaroos. Ba boing, ba boing, ba boing, ba boing. Yura. City of Yura. Alright. We crossed the desert and finally arrived in the village of Yura. Yura was a bustling city, larger than I had imagined. Neil's parents lived there and ran a company called Rolex. Neil hadn't been there for three years. His parents welcomed him home. They set off fireworks. There were dancers. It looked like a festival had started. This is the house where Neil's parents live. We were shown to the guest room. Well, make yourself at home. 
I want to talk to my parents. It's been three years. Heh, <laughs> I'm scared. What if I have to go to the bathroom and I can't find it? What a big house. The townspeople seem to be richer than the king. Checking all the pots for jewels and all the drawers. Cause we're gonna steal everything that's yours. To live for yourself or for others, that is the question. So this makes you my uncle and aunt, right? We made we've made money and wish to spend the remaining years enjoying life. Why don't you succeed us? I can't get over there and talk to you, Dad. You don't want to talk to me. Well, whatever. We're gonna explore the town. But first, we explore the house. Hello. A few days ago, a man wearing a cloak came around. He asked if anyone named Kara had come to town. I shrank with fear when I saw his cold eyes. Should I tell Kara about it? If you must. I don't like the Kara. She acts like some kind of princess. You shouldn't be so cruel talking like that. Interesting. Oh, how was that? So do all these lead lead to outside? Yep. Okay. Just real quick, real quick, because somebody mentioned Kara to us in a pink Kara text bubble. Yo, Kara, you should know. I guess you don't care. Bye. I tried to tell you. I tried to keep you safe. President of Rolex lives in this mansion. Run, run, run. There are many back alleys between the houses and towns. The other day, a man called the Jackal was asking questions. He had the look of evil. I think he was chasing somebody. Great, Jackal's here. This is a teapot. We call it a tear pot. Once we were caught up in a war. After the women sent their husbands to war, they saved their tears in these pots. Okay. This is the book that Rofsky wrote about the future of mankind. Believe in fortune telling? Sure. The fortune looks dark and uncertain. A huge comet will enter Earth's orbit. Mankind will become extinct. There will be nothing but despair. Thanks to customers like this, we can survive. Hey, don't ever go over there. Cross over to the other side. This is cornmeal for making bread. Hey, hey, you're probably too young for this. <laughs> Whoa! There, so many people confined under the shrine. What? Our fruit is soft and tasty. Town prospects, thanks to the Rolex company. I had more to say. There are lots of bad rumors, but I think the company's great. See that you want it. I'll give you one. Will got the apple. Don't you ever go over there. This is the first this is the marketplace. You can find anything you want here. Dude, I got an apple. Okay. Luggage is piled up in the company next door. Sometimes you hear groans from the luggage. They're moving. Odd. <laughs> Sounds like they're talking about work. I hear you. I hear if I do business with this company, I can get anything I want. We can get anything tea, fruit, even furs. I can say it out loud, but workers too. Yes, the company handles almost anything you can imagine. What? A child? The old guys are talking about work. Go over there. Hmm. Okay. This is the Rolex corporate office. Almost everything you buy in town comes through the company. Hmm. Jeez, holy cow. I saw the line and wondered why people were lining up. We are always waiting in line. In times of trouble, people are grateful for whatever they can get. I saw the line and I was wondering why people lined up. You can buy life medicine in this shop. You can buy the best goods in this shop. This is the exit. Please use the entrance. Can I? Can, can I wait and get in there? Is that a mechanic? I 
wonder. Hmm. This is Euro. It's a crowded merchant town. Whoop. The town has changed. Rolex's sudden growth has brought many merchants to the town. There's something behind the success. <coughs> oh, here's my save. Alrighty. No advice from Gaia. But we're still just exploring the town. We just got here. Jackal somewhere. Knowing our luck, beating up Jackal will give us another mystic statue. <laughs> Wouldn't make a whole lot of sense. Knowing our luck. Whoosh! Man, I run right through you. There are many back alleys between houses in town. This is where the world famous Rofsky and violinist Eras Erasquez live. They are always arguing geniuses can be so peculiar. Two old people are arguing about something. Two geniuses are violent then. It sounds like a tempest. You will just dash off. Packs of lies don't brag. Hey, you. I feel a strange power coming from you. My intuition is so developed. I can sense things even if I can't see them. At the right time, go to Mount Cress and take a look at the teapot. Rofsky marked the Mount Cress on Will's map. There is a dispute about the teapot enshrined at Mount Cress. On Mount Cress, there are enshrined tears once shed by, shed by a spirit. Legend says they save people. Okay. When the time is right, I'll go there. Like you've asked. What's we got in here? My brother and I once went to Mount Cress and got lost in the temple. Big mushrooms and plants grow in circles like a maze. Water from the mushroom drips into broken steam stems. New growth sprouts up, forming a path. The drops from the mushrooms are all all around the temple's grounds. Ugh. Ah, you're growing up quick. Okay. Do I know you? I saw you hiding up there. What are you doing? I'm the jeweler gem. Alright. Oh. Now you got 17 of them. I am the Explorer Freezer. I, too, plan on leaving my name in history as the discoverer of the Tower of Babel. I wonder where you're taking us exploring this time, says Max. I'm afraid it's up to the whims of the captain. <laughs> Rudy, the plane, the runes are just are a great place. They just take my breath away. All right, Marty McFly. Bet you we're gonna see you in the Tower of Babel, all beat up and murdered or something. Okay. Explored all that. Now is there a thing over here? Villagers live here. Outsiders can't enter. Hmm. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. That doesn't do us much good. This leaves the town. We can go to Mount the Mountain Temple. If nothing else strikes our fancy. We've already checked out all that. These seem interesting. If I were to go through the effort of programming these, I would certainly have hidden something. Hmm. Okay, well we can go to this mountain. Which seems legit. But now that we've talked to everybody, let's turn you still same thing? Yeah. Uncle don't want to talk to me for some reason. Why, Uncle? You're just scared to find a bathroom, and you're jealous that even though you're a princess, there's still other wealthy people in the world. Well, let's go to that mountain then. Wait. Can't take that. I have an apple. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with it. 
sure it'll become apparent s some point. <laughs> Will's holding a will. All right, well, let's go to the mountain without telling anybody. No one needs to know. Mountain Temple. Now, I think this might be the place that I remember what it looks like. Yeah! This place looks so cool. Aw, oh, man. There are mushrooms many times bigger than me, and the plant stalks are scattered around. I accidentally skipped a little bit of dialogue there. Alright, I think we're on the right path. Hey, Skull. Yeah, this thing, this place is weird and cool. It's just plants and cave and glowy colors. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Look at these giant things. And the enemies are floating skulls. How is that not something to just be, like, terrified by? And spiders? I don't even remember the spiders. Poison spitting spiders. There's one thing that would be more scary than a spider that is ginormous trying to bite you with its poison. It is if it had somehow gained the ability to spit that crap at you. At least they're moving pretty slow. Get poked until you die. I don't recall there being many puzzles in this one area. Mostly it's just fighting enemies in these vines. I don't remember too much about it though. Other than it exists and it looks cool. This is probably my, visually my favorite level. What the heck? Ah! Shooty glowy skull? Floating skull? Come here. Come here. Well, I'm gonna come to you then. Uh, uh, uh. Come back. Come back to me. Grr. You shall not survive. Come here, spider. Get poked. At least I can block your blue flames. How many more guys? Lots of them. Alright. Holy crap, what are you? You look like... You look scary. You're like a flame nymph or something. You look like a kuma if you played the flute. more of these guys. Oh boy. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Reading? It's your turn. There are giant spiders here, man. They're scary, and they won't eat me. Any advice for us, Gaia? No. Best advice that you got is to hold off and continue this next time, because this episode's getting kind of long. Alright, I'll do that. See you guys later.